SciTech Nutrition, premium quality products, state-of-the-art look, uncompromised ingredient quality. Our products work and taste good. www.scitechnutrition.com. Gorillaware. We're here at SciTech Nutrition with Brandon Curry, who just got off the Arnold USA and Arnold Australia. Now you're going to be doing the Arnold Brazilian. Are you trying to hit all of them? Uh, I think so. Yeah, that's the plan. You know, they uh, they run good shows, so I, I might as well be a part of it if I get the invitation. It's a privilege, you know. When I saw you at the Arnold this year, I felt that you were just a tad bit off your best. Um, what, what happened first of all, and, and what are you doing right now to regroup and, and focus on Brazil? Well, uh, I, I know I overcarbed for the Arnold USA, overcarbed a little bit. I realized uh, for the Arnold Australia that I need to probably add a little bit more fats in and, and less carbs to kind of fill out a little bit better so I won't spill over. Uh, so, you know, that's pretty much the solution we come up with for Brazil uh, as, as far as bringing the condition in tighter. So. Now, you are, the def or at least you were a defending champion two, two years ago, I believe, right? 2012? Yes. 13. 2013. You won the Arnold Brazil. That was probably your biggest victory to date. Uh, I know it had to feel real good. Now you're going in into this lineup with some guys like Victor Martinez in the lineup, big Rami in that lineup. How do you prepare mentally to do battle against those guys? I mean, for me, it's just another show and improvement upon my own package. Uh, you know, you really can't control who, who enters the show or what condition they come in. I'm just looking at myself and trying to bring in the best, best package this year, so. How hard is it when you're on the road at a show like FIBO, it's a four day show, Obviously, you're dieting. You got to get to the gym. You got to eat the right foods. How do you go about preparation for something like this? I mean, it's, it's generally a part of being a professional. You have to be able to, to do this and travel. Uh, being prepared is one key, and then having a company like SciTech to kind of take care of you, microwave, refrigerators in the back, uh, ah, making sure you're at the gym every day. You know, so they, they they're good at taking care of us. So, of, of the SciTech crew, you, Roden, Cedric, Pakulski, who trains the hardest? Who trains hard? I mean, we all train hard. It depends on what you define hard is. Some people define hard as heavy. Uh, some people internalize that and really focus on what they're doing. So that's me. Uh, so uh, you know, we all train. I was train hoping hard. you were gonna say you. Yeah, you know me. I mean, I may not look hard. Uh, you know, when you're pressured, you try to make things look easy. But uh, I mean, I love to train. So it's all about bringing the pain, bringing the grind. You know. I see your what your beautiful wife over there. Can we get her over here, maybe? Yeah, Let's she's, see take, she's taking some pictures right now. Hey, you let, got let four me. kids now, huh? Yeah, we got four, man. The youngest is one, and uh, he's getting around, uh, tearing up everything. You know, that's how they do it. That how age. the hell do you you sleep in your house? Uh, well, we got they go to bed for, before us, and uh, we keep, keep them out of the room. That's the key. If you're gonna have kids, make how sure. How do you keep a one year old out of the room? Well, you put him in his crib, and you know, hopefully he can't escape. What, you lock him in with a top on it? Yeah, I mean, they're pretty high, you know, they're like little cages these days, you know. So he's in there until we get up, and then, uh, of course, the, the other ones have freedom, but they know not to come in and uh, disturb us. Let me get Brandy. I don't. I, I have a feeling Brandy's doing all the work. That's what I think is going on. Oh, you know, uh, you would... Brandy, get over here for a second. All right, she's, she's very in demand now. Yeah, she's got to get these pictures out of the way, but I, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. She does a lot of the work. Uh, but you know that doesn't mean I'm I'm a relinquish from any work. So who, come here, man. who takes care of the kids more, you or Brandon? I gave birth to him. That's what I said. <laughs> I said he does a good job, though. How do you guys get any sleep in the house with four kids? Well, first we, of all, we kept where did those up. kids come from? They didn't come from you. <laughs> they That's came. for sure. They came from me. Yeah. Yes. Unbelievable. You got a one-year-old? One. One. Ten. Five. Just turned three last week and one. When you guys go away to a show like this, who the hell watches them? My dad, my dad has them right now. Well, you got a good dad. Yeah, he has them. Uh, they're on spring break, so they're, they're having fun right all now. All four of them? Yeah. So. They all behave. We're strict. How the heck does your dad do that? He's got some set of cojones. Well, there, there was three of us, and then him and my mom, they'll kind of swap towards the weekend. So, you know, they, that's teamwork, you know. Was your dad a disciplinarian when you were growing up? Uh, my mom was stricter on me, but, you know, when my dad came down to it, it was business. I had to literally beg him not to give me whoopings at times, you know. <laughs> he, would, he would say, Jesus, yeah, would please pray, help I would me. Pray, I would literally pray for in front of him so he wouldn't. he would feel guilty and not whoop me. Now, now that your dad is a little older, has he mellowed, or is, is like are your kids gonna come back like spoiled out of control? Yeah, they they gonna be spoiled, definitely spoiled. I mean, that's what grandparents do. They they're, they're hard on you, and then they're, they're they're real nice to the grandkids. That's how it goes. They're spoiled. He sent us pictures. They're having so much fun. Are we gonna see you compete again ever again? 
I would love to. It, the only thing that's holding me back right now is soccer season. You're a soccer mom now? Can I, you imagine I her? If I never seen a soccer mom that look like you. My daughter plays travel soccer. Wow. Um, and I, I started off coaching it, actually coach, and football. We've got baseball. baseball. Your kids are small though. They're young. Basketball. My, my oldest is ten. Basketball, ten. Basketball as well. So they, yeah, they, she, they, they're busy. Is. They're busy as us. Well, good luck in, in in Brazil, and good luck with the kids. And uh, we're here with the Currys.